What's good, YouTube? In this video, we're going to be breaking down the West Coast Bunch, giving you a play, really the why behind why you would want to call the West Coast Playbook or the West Coast Bunch, and uh, going to be breaking down one of the best routes in Madden for years and how you could you can use this to uh, break down coverages in this game. Now, if you are uh, looking to get my entire West Coast Bunch offensive ebook, make sure that you're in my Patreon. I'm going to be dropping this ebook later today. Um, it's kind of an overdue ebook. I wanted to do this in the beginning of the year, and then it wasn't in month for the longest time. And then, kind of, Washington was really powerful and still is very powerful. But I did want to break down this variation of Bunch. Uh, this Bunch has been. Good in Madden for years, and this year specifically, I think there's a lot that you can do uh, from this playbook. And so, we're going to be breaking down the play deep attack. Now, this is the 100% main reason why I think you should be calling this formation or this playbook. This specific post route out of deep attack is one of the best post routes in the entire game. You also have other things, such as mesh post, of course, uh, stick, which is one of the best corner routes in the game. Corner strike, deep corner, of course, verticals. It's got all the powerful plays. But really the main feature play, in my opinion, is deep attack because that post is one of the best routes in the game against man and zone. So we're going to break down kind of just a basic setup for you uh, in this. You don't need Hot Route Master. I do have the Bucks, but you you don't have to have that for uh, this this setup. So again, if you want to get the whole... Um, we already have a Gun Bunch offensive ebook. We broke down Washington earlier this year. If you want to go ahead and get a head start on the West Coast stuff, make sure you're in our Patreon. And again, we're going to be dropping that West Coast ebook probably later today, uh, if not first thing in the morning for our Patreon members. So if you want to check that out, the link is down in the description below. 10 bucks will get you access to all of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks. All right, so let's take a look at this. So we're going to show you kind of just a basic setup here uh, for deep attack. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to want to have some form or some variation of a clear out. Now, what I like to do with this is just streak the slot receiver. And then from there, um, I'm going to drag my tight end. So you see here, we've already got the running back blocked. Now we're just going to drag the tight end. And then if you want to, you can slant this outside receiver and just motion him out a step or two. And you'll see that this just play has some really, really good options. As you can see right here, this slant is really good um, against man-to-man. -man. And so we can take advantage of that. Now, uh, like I said, you can kind of go all kinds of different directions uh, with this setup. But another thing that I really like about this play uh, is it tends to do a pretty good job at working man press. So if they're trying to press you in man, this is a great play. You're going to see he's going to cut to the inside. You're going to freeform that inside. And what you want to do is you want to click on an aggressive catch. Now, one of the big drawbacks, in my opinion, to Bunch this year, ironically, is it's it's his ability um, to be able to beat press man to man from the left side. Um, specifically, if they put like a third out there uh, to take away your C route, you need something like this post that is sharp cutting and is going to get deep enough, as you see right here, to get down the field above the yellow zones as well as in a difficult position for their user to be able to make a play. So as you saw right there, we're able to beat press man. Now another thing you're going to get in this game is you're going to get some variation, um, some variation of basically this right here, where they're going to basically kind of cover three out of man, I think. Um, but really the, the left side is the focal point. They're going to have some kind of outside third to stop a C route. What you'll notice with this post route is it kind of gets in this really sweet spot over the middle just like that. Now, uh, that's why you want to motion snap that slant route as opposed to getting it in any other way of motion because what you want to have happen, and you can leave this, this little five yard in, but what you want to have happen is you want this to kind of lag behind the drag. So you see here, now their user in the whole middle of the field is open for us to be able to work. That clear out streak is going to do such a good job of, again, just simply clearing out space uh, for us to be able uh, to work. So as you can see here, again, just simply streaking this guy. You could literally just call it like this right here. This isn't a bad setup. This in route out of deep attack, this is one of the first videos I think I did back in Madden 12. This in route has always been really, really good. So I don't want you to sleep on this in route. Let me show you this in route against man to man. You'll see kind of a natural rub happen. He has that little sharp cut 
and he can beat man to man. So again, if I was to just run, want to quick snap this play, right? Maybe I just put this guy on a corner route, or I put this guy on a streak, right? Whatever I want to do, and then you'll see here we get this little underneath pick and rub, and you see how this route can be very helpful for you as well. Um, another thing you could do is something simple like this. This is very simple. Uh, but it's very effective, right? You see how they space the field really well. It's hard to use or both, and that's the idea um, with this. We don't want the user to be able to to use or both players. We want them to have to choose who they're going to use. Or so, you know, even if you want to motion this guy out, give him a little bit more space. And what you'll see here is now my post is able to be user cut over the middle. This play literally breaks down every coverage of the game. It's very difficult to defend. I'm going to show you cover four hard flat real quick. you got to understand their user has to make a decision over the middle. It's one of the easiest ways to break down coverage. Maybe even do like a slant to the tight end. You'll see here he'll get in kind of an interesting position. And then you see that you've got that post. Now really where you want to throw that post, just to be clear, is you want to, especially against zone, it's really important to go over this, where you want to throw this post route against zone is you want to throw it once he crosses the middle. You don't want to throw it early. So I want to throw it. You can, but you don't want to throw it, specifically against cover four. You want to throw it right there, right underneath that streak um, to, to give you the best possible uh, ability to be able to break down coverage, in my opinion. Now against cover two, it is a little different. Um, you'll see here that the streak... We'll clear out. I mean, not really that much different, actually. You'll still run the same spot. You, you can highball this again, zone really well, really effectively as well. Um, but this is a great counter to the opponent putting the outside corner into an outside third. You do something like this play right here requires no hot routes. Um, from the perspective of Hot Route Master, everything you have is able to be quick snapped as well because literally the only thing you really need to do is streak somebody. It doesn't even have to be the slot. Like you could run this and this could be perfectly fine. You'll see here um, kind of more of a levels concept. Um, the tight end actually took a sweet time getting up the field, but you would have a faster tight end, obviously, an ultimate team. You know, another thing you could do is something simple like this. I mean, there's nothing wrong with this setup either. Um, you know, but just these basic little things out of the West Coast is what makes West Coast so good. Sometimes simple is the most effective, and that's really what the West Coast playbook is going to bring. It brings a level of simplicity to a game that we can do a lot of things this year. Um, there's a lot of things that do work, but in a game where I think really, real, realistically, you want to limit your mistakes. Simplicity can certainly help you do that. And this is one of those plays that will really help um, along that line. So if you want to check out my West Coast Offensive ebook, it's really going to be built around this play. Obviously, there's bombs against every coverage. There's blitz beaters. There's man beaters. Um, there's other formations that are actually pretty good. Uh, let me give you one. This tray open offset, you'll see that it's a fairly simple audible. This is one of the best formations in the game, in my opinion, specifically, uh, again, with how this pairs with you know the gun bunch so anyways if you want to check out my west coast offensive ebook head down to the description below and make sure that you get signed up for the patreon we're going to be dropping that later today